Now we're going to move into some uh, drills with that high jump bar. And the first one we're going to do, I really like, it's called kickoffs. And what Jenny's going to do is she's going to run and kick it off with her drive leg. And the thing I like about this drill is it keeps the athlete nice and tall and they won't dive into the bar. So right now we have the bar at 6'8". I'm going to have Jenny come in at five steps and do a kickoff. Perfect. The next drill we're going to do are called knee ups. And what Jenny's going to do is take a five step approach and she's going to try to drive her knee up and knee the bar off. Excellent. The next drill I like because it's a lot like the kickoffs in that it has the athletes stay nice and tall and they will uh, oscillate at the hips and rotate their shoulders so that they're perpendicular to the bar. And these are called scissors. The next drill we're going to do is called a three step. And so Jenny's going to work on the last three steps of her jump. There we go. Good one. Our next drill is a five step drill. So now Jenny's moved back from a three to a five, and you can see that she's facing straight ahead. At this point in her run, she's going to begin to oscillate her hips and turn her shoulders so that her shoulders will eventually be perpendicular to the bar at takeoff. The next drill we're going to do are box back jumps. And again, you can determine the height of the box or device that you're going to go off of. But what Jenny's doing here is she's giving herself a chance to work on her bar clearance. And if you remember on the bar clearance, she's going to be feet together, knees apart. Once her hips clear the bar, or excuse me, are on top of the bar, she's going to tuck her chin and it'll flip her feet up. Perfect. Our next drill are called box side jumps. And Jimmy, Jenny's going to demonstrate. Okay, Jenny, on that specific drill right there, what exactly are you trying to do with your shoulders and why? Well, what you're trying to do is get your shoulders to rotate over the bar because when you go over the bar, it helps clear your hips so that your um, trail leg can get over the bar. So what you're saying is that if, if someone doesn't completely unwind on the bar, that they're actually going to probably drag it off with the, that ankle on your side coming in. On my side, it'll, it'll drag right there if you don't unwind. Okay, great. Let's have you do one more. <laughs> 